Today we're going to be replacing the console cover on this range due to all the cosmetic damages on the front here. To begin the repair, we must gain access to the back of the unit. Stop. Before beginning any repair, be sure to always disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. In order to remove the console panel, we must first remove the lower panel here with the two Phillips screws. Lower it down, you can just set it aside. And then there are 12 number two Phillips screws that hold the upper panel on. And then you just lower it down, disengage it from the top panel, and slide it right off. Now we'll go back around to the front. To remove the console cover, we must gain access to these screws. In order to gain access to these screws, we have to pull the cooktop. So you need to open the door, and underneath there are two Phillips screws And then the cooktop, you just lift up and pull forward, lifting at the rear at the same time. And then set it aside. Now that we've got the cooktop out of the way, we can pull all the knobs off of our infinite switches. Remove all the screws, Phillips screws for our switches here. and just kind of let them fall in. Now we're gonna to wanna to put down a pad to protect our new panel and our display. Now that we've removed the cooktop, we can gain access to the screws underneath the panel. And it's easiest with a stubby screwdriver. And then the panel will just lift right off and you can rotate it down. There are six Molex connectors in the control board that you're gonna need to unplug. And once you get these unplugged, you're gonna to wanna to just lay the panel right on your pad. So to remove your control panel and your display, there are two Phillips screws. Once you unscrew those, you lift your display right off and set it aside. Now the last step is to remove these two little brackets. Set them off to the side. And once you have those off, take your panel, set it aside. Now that we have a new cover, it doesn't have any defects in the front. There is a protective film on it. You're gonna wanna leave that on until the very end so that we don't scratch it. Take your brackets, slide them back in and snap them in place. Now you're gonna to wanna to take your control board and display, set that back on there, line up your holes, take your two Phillips screws, screw them back in place. And try not to cut your fingers on the sharp metals. So you wanna lift your board up. Remember your plugs here.
They are color coded, so you can't put them in the wrong spot. Now that you've got your plugs all in place, move your switches out of the way so that you can rotate the panel up and over the back of the frame. And slide it straight down and push it back. Next, you want to take your infinite switches Use your left hand, hold it in place, line your screws up, you may need to rotate the switch just a little to line the bottom screw up. the same for the other three. Now take your two Phillips screws that hold the panels at the bottom. With a stubby screwdriver again, screw those tight. Now you've got everything secure. Now you can go ahead and remove your protective coating. Now we'll go ahead and install the knobs. Being sure that the little white line points up to the top. And now we are ready to install the cooktop. So you're going to want to grab your cooktop, being gentle with it because it is glass. Kind of gently lay it on top. And in the back, on the frame, there are two little clips that must engage into the top of the panel or the cooktop, I mean. You're gonna engage them and then slide the cooktop back. So just drop down and then slide it back. And then open up your oven door. Install the two Phillips screws. Now you may have to slightly tap on the cooktop to get your holes to line up. Close your door. And now we need to gain access to the back of the unit. To install the rear panel, you must first slide the top of the panel up under the console. Line up your screw holes. Hold the panel and install one of the screws to hold the panel for you. And now that you got that one in, move on to the other side. While still holding the panel. And now that you've got that one held, you can Finish the rest of the screws. Next, we'll install the lower panel, and there are four tabs you must engage into the back of the oven. And slide them in and then slide it up until your screw holes align.
and this will complete the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.